Ew. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna choose this one. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, so cough dislodges pull Q tip stuck in woman's nose for twelve years. <laughs> you <laughs> It's not funny. It's not funny, man. It's not funny. <laughs> okay, so just because Skype uh just because Skype was being a pain, it says cough dislodges pull Q tip. Stuck in woman's nose for 12 years. Yes. And in case it messed up again. <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny, man. It's not <laughs> funny. <laughs> anyway. When a woman coughed violently, she dislodged the tip of a pool cue. Oh, I'm going to mess that up so badly <laughs> all throughout this entire thing. Yeah, but it's funny. <sighs> You did it to yourself, Rebecca, Jackie, whatever your Becca name Bob. is. You did it to yourself. <laughs> Rebecca, Jackie, Becca, Bob. Yep. Anyway. Per se. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep an eye out for our upcoming episodes to find out what per se is so funny. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Uh, that had been stuck up her nose for 12 years. Chantel. Fail. <laughs> Are you serious? I just copied and pasted. Her name is Fail. <laughs> well, yeah. <clears throat> 31 had endured constant headaches, infections, and flu-like symptoms without knowing why. But after the 2 centimeter Q-tip emerged covered by unhealthy tissue that had grown over it. Her yeah. illnesses were traced back to a freak accident she suffered in 1999. Oh, I've got to hear this. Mom of three, Chantel, was in a pub when a male friend holding a pool cue in the crook of his arm gave her a bear hug. The cue speared the top of her mouth, and she was taken to a hospital. But medics gave her only pain relief. Had she been x-rayed, it would have shown the tip had become had come away from the queue and pierced a cheekbone. It worked its way into a sinus before finally moving into a nasal passage. She said it was a huge shock. I'm pretty sure it'd be a lot more than that. (laughs) When she coughed the Q-tip out. Okay, keep in mind, we're not talking Q-tip as in the little stick with the fuzzy ends. No, we're talking... <laughs> pool Q. The end... Yeah, a pool Q. <laughs> I want to know... Yeah. I want to know which freaking you-know-what didn't realize that it was missing. <laughs> I mean, didn't you go to, like, hit the ball and then it just like, oh... You know, it went <laughs> tick instead of thud. I don't. You, oh, I don't know. Ew. I never thought it was anything to do with the accident. She told the son. Well, I, I guess I could kind of get that. I get a headache, and the first one is not. My first thought is not. I wonder if I have a pool cue stuck up my nose. <laughs> Ew. Whoa, whoa. What I want to know is, was there no blood? Well, there was probably blood since it went through the top of her mouth. Blech. I mean, did it... <laughs> That's just so unbelievably stupid. But it yeah, was... she basically thought that she had... um That she was sick or that she was pregnant or that she just wasn't feeling well, something. And... That she just never stopped being sick until she finally coughed this up. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it would have been a bit of a pain in the butt. Huh. <laughs> which, At least it wasn't in her butt. Which fa- uh, brings us to our next story, which is Fake Doctor's Recipe for Better Buttocks. Ha, huh, I got it. Cement, tie filler, and glue. So that's where Pippa got the idea from. Maybe. Now I'll get you to post the link to that one when you hear it because my god, the picture. 
you. And not in a good way. Okay. A woman who wanted to work at a nightclub started searching for someone who could perform plastic surgery at a cheap price to give her a more curvaceous body. Uh, police say what she found was a woman posing as a doctor who filled her butt with cement, mineral oil, flat tire sealant. Uh. So, if you sort of add that up and haven't clicked on the link or can't click on the link, just use your imagination. Uh, I am. She has more junk in her trunk than she wants, I tell you. Okay. <laughs> The suspect, who police say was born a man, and <laughs> identifies as a woman. Oh dear, this is not good for the transgender community. Apparently, no, it's not. Apparently performed the surgery on herself, and investigators say she may have victimized others. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Which surgery? Um, I think it was to make the butt cheeks bigger. Okay, because the way they had that set up, it made it sound like she gave herself the surgery to make her a her. No, I think the surgery was the butt implants or the butt whatever the hell fillers or stuff. Okay. And another thing, um, I hope this woman doesn't have to go swimming because I'm pretty sure she'd sink. Yeah. I mean, cement. Yeah, because that's just going to be healthy. You know, injecting or putting whatever the hell in your rear end. Uh. That can't be comfortable to sit on. I mean, come on, haven't you ever sat on the concrete? Unfortunately. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, police photos show Morris as a small framed woman with the bee sting, pouty lips, arched eyebrows, and oversized hoop earrings, and a large backside. She was released from jail on bond. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, how the hell you could inject that crap into your body? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean... This isn't exactly the first time we've heard this kind of thing. I mean, we've heard of horror stories all over the place of, you know, these quack doctors, you know, injecting people with poison. Um, what is it, caulk? Like, mm. for in their breast to make them bigger. I mean, people will do anything just to look pretty and pinch dimes and pennies and... <coughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, come on. Everybody be happy with what you look like just for a little while, hey? Yeah. I mean, you know, I will tell you, I will say one thing though. I really, really hope this woman doesn't have hemorrhoids because they tell you the worst thing you could do is sit on concrete. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it, yeah. Ah, oh, that's just... Can you imagine how awful that must feel? And Something what, hardening inside of your body. What must that sound like when she walks? Because, <laughs> I mean, if you've looked at the pictures, she's going to make noise when she walks, because there ain't no way that something that size could not make right, a noise. All right, I've got to go look at the picture. Yeah. It's like me with twice J-Lo's butt. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. See what I mean? That, that's that's frightening. Okay, no, I have it, but I got the mental image. Okay, <laughs> now I have to see. The picture's popping up now. Oh, my God. Told you. <laughs> but you see what I mean? It would ah. have It would have to make noise if there's concrete in there. been around for a long time and I learned along the way If you want to go on the radio there are words you just can't say 
worked out my d- Skipped right past the sucking And got right down to th- She turned and said I got her ass Would you slip it into my d- The dirtiest song, the filthy 